There are at least two possible solutions to the homework question in the file concatenationhomework.php in the working files. The first method uses double quotes to enclose the whole of the string with the variables included within these double quotes. But because we cannot work out the value of $year plus 1 using this method, we have to work it out in advance and store it as a new variable, which I've called $NextYear, and then echo this out. The second method uses concatenating dots, which look more cumbersome, but it allows us to perform the maths inside the echo statement. You can use either method or a combination, it makes little difference whatever is more convenient and easier to read at the time. We've seen that double quotes can be used in echo statements to combine variable values with HTML tags, and we saw that if we use single quotes enclosing a variable, the literal name of the variable itself will be output rather than its value. What happens if we need to store or echo quote marks themselves as part of a string? What if I want to output, that's nice he said, with the quotes as part of the string? Or, tomorrow's date will be, with an apostrophe in it. Make a new text file in PHP Demos and name it stringdelimiters.php. We use double quotes to enclose single, and single to enclose double. So to output single quotes, we could use double quotes around them, like this. That's our outer double quotes, and then our single quotes, with text inside, then the rest of the text, semicolon at the end, and we'll put in p tags, paragraph tags, just to tidy up the output. Save the file, and this time we'll preview it in a Komodo tab. Go to the preview icon, Choose in a Komodo tab, choose this file, preview, and then you have to change the URL because at the moment that's a local file. You have to change that to http colon forward slash forward slash localhost and then php demos. And then we see the output as expected with single quotes. Or to output double quotes as part of the string, we enclose them inside single quotes like this. The outer enclosing quote marks delimit the beginning and end of the string, so these are called string delimiters. If we need to output the same quote marks as those that we're using as the string delimiters, then we have to precede the quote marks that we output with a backslash. This backslash is the escape character. It removes any special function from the next character, the single character which follows it, and allows it to be processed as ordinary text. So in this case, the function of delimiting the beginning and end of the string is removed from that following quote mark. If we use double quotes as the string delimiters, then we have to escape the double quotes in the output, not the single one. This will be put into use later on when we have to store HTML code containing quote marks as variables. Try using a backslash in front of the dollar sign in a variable name and see what the effect of that is. As you probably expected, the dollar sign loses its function as a variable identifier and the literal string is returned. For your assignment this time, use timeanddate.php to adapt the concatenated string you made in the previous lesson so that it reads the time now is, and then whatever the time is, in two hours time it will be, whatever that is, all in double quotes, comma, said the timekeeper. The answer is in the working files in the file stringdelimitershomework.php.